testosterone therapy does not increase the risk of cardiovascular uh, adverse uh, outcomes. I'm uh, Dr. Abraham Morgenthaler. I'm the uh, Blavatnik Faculty Fellow in Health and Longevity at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center and at Harvard Medical School. And I'm the lead author for the paper uh, entitled Androgen Society Position Paper uh, on Cardiovascular Risk and Testosterone Therapy. The Androgen Society is an international multidisciplinary organization of uh, healthcare providers and scientists and researchers who are dedicated to the study and education regarding testosterone deficiency, also known as hypogonadism and its treatment, which is generally testosterone therapy. I'd like to provide you with an overview of the data that we reviewed that led to our conclusion that testosterone therapy does not increase the risk of cardiovascular disease, especially uh, what we call MACE, major adverse cardiovascular events, heart attack, stroke, and death. Um, we reviewed uh, there, we reviewed over 20 randomized controlled trials, uh, over 20 large observational trials, um, and 20 meta-analyses. These studies consistently and almost completely uniformly showed that testosterone therapy was either neutral or beneficial with regard to cardiovascular uh, risk. The original story about how cardiovascular risk came about was from two observational studies published close together in 2013 and 2014. Um, both of those studies were problematic and provided the weakest of evidence. But it was based on uh, those stories and the enormous media attention uh, that came from those studies published almost back to back that led the FDA to convene a scientific advisory meeting, added a warning label to uh, testosterone products that said that there may be uh, an increased risk of cardiovascular disease, and also led in 2015 to the FDA mandating that testosterone manufacturers uh, perform and pay for a large cardiovascular trial to definitively attempt to answer the question whether testosterone therapy increased the risk of uh, cardiovascular events. So that study became the TRAVERSE trial. The results were published in 2023. Um, it included 5,240 men, all with either known cardiovascular disease or multiple risk factors. They were looking for a group that would have a lot of events so that they could compare them and get statistical significance that was meaningful out of them. Um, and um, the primary uh, outcome uh, of that study was cumulative uh, numbers of uh, non-fatal heart attacks, non-fatal stroke, and cardiovascular death. All of the events were adjudicated uh, centrally, and men were randomized either to daily application of uh, testosterone gel or to a placebo gel. With 33 months of follow-up, the results were crystal clear the number uh, or the rate of uh, MACE, major adverse cardiovascular events, in the placebo arm was 7.3%, and it was 7.0% in the testosterone arm. There's no hint, there's no trend, there's no suggestion that there's a greater risk amongst the testosterone group. But this is not the only study that looked at, uh, at this issue. We have a total of three large RCTs published over the last uh, several years. One was the testosterone trials published in uh, 2016 that at the end of two years showed fewer uh, major adverse cardiovascular events in the testosterone arm than placebo. And the other is the T4DM trial uh, looking at uh, the effects of testosterone versus placebo on um, progression of diabetes from prediabetes. Um, and that too showed fewer events in the cardiovascular events in the testosterone arm compared to uh, placebo arm. We have large number of population-based or observational studies, all of which uh, uniformly uh, showed uh, either a neutral effect or a beneficial effect in terms of uh, uh, cardiovascular events with testosterone therapy. And out of 20 meta-analyses that we reviewed in the paper, uh, 19 of them uh, showed uh, no increased risk. 
And the one that uh, did mention, uh, suggest it was increased risk, uh, is notable for its uh, misreporting of some of the uh, data. So we have a near uniform, uh, long, deep, rich uh, evidence base here now uh, that clearly indicates that testosterone therapy is not a risk for cardiovascular disease, and uh, or at least no greater than placebo. And uh, that's the basis for our position uh, from the Androgen Society, namely that testosterone therapy is not associated with increased cardiovascular risk. Uh, testosterone therapy has been a controversial issue for a very long time. And over the last decade, one of the main obstacles for patients who are symptomatic or have been told that they've got testosterone deficiency uh, has been the reluctance of physicians to prescribe. And one of those reasons for the reluctance has been the concerns about uh, cardiovascular risk. I think that risk should now be uh, um, eliminated. Um, it should not be part of the, of the discussion. The definitive studies have been performed. The data is overwhelming. And I think that uh, patients should understand that uh, even if they have some degree of cardiovascular risk, uh, that there's nothing special about testosterone therapy that will increase uh, their risk. One of the interesting things that's been known for several decades now is that several studies have shown benefits of testosterone therapy for uh, some heart conditions. So for example, there are several studies that show that testosterone therapy is beneficial in men and in women compared to placebo uh, for those individuals with heart failure. Testosterone has been shown in randomized controlled trials to be beneficial for men with exercise-induced angina. And in fact, the history of testosterone therapy goes back to the late 1930s and early 1940s, where testosterone therapy was also used for vascular uh, uh, problems um, and, um, and, uh, and heart disease uh, with beneficial effects. So, uh, and we also have data from uh, mortality data that men who have untreated testosterone deficiency or even just lower testosterone levels compared to higher are at increased rate of death and uh, all, all cause death and in some cases cardiovascular death. So future research actually may, uh, now that we no longer need to worry about increased cardiovascular risk, I now, th now think we have the opportunity to look at the benefits of testosterone therapy uh, for cardiovascular disease prevention and, and treatment. In these few minutes, I've tried to, uh, to provide an overview of what our article shows, but there is nothing that substitutes from actually reading the article itself. We invite you to do so. Uh, it's coming out with uh, Mayo Clinic uh, proceedings, and uh, you'll see uh, uh, several tables that list all the available evidence. Um, and I think that uh, if this is a topic of interest, uh, to you. I think you'll enjoy reading the article. It's designed to be readable and it's relatively uh, concise. We hope that you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mailclinicproceedings.org. There you will find access to information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel, www.youtube.com Mail Proceedings, or general updates on Facebook, www.facebook dot com Mayo Clinic Proceedings. You can also follow us on X, formerly known as Twitter, available at Mayo Proceedings. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research, published by Elsevier Incorporated. All rights are reserved, including those for text and data mining, AI training, and similar technologies.